What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. Now, we don't really cover a lot of entry-level or mid-range smartphones here on the channel. So, Infinix wanted to sponsor a video so that we could take a look at one of their latest phones. This right here is the Note 11 Pro from Infinix. And this is supposed to be a no compromise entry level phone that has a few surprising features considering its price. Now, price varies depending on region, but Carl, right off the bat, what would you guess? 287. Random. It's cheaper than that anyway. It's actually 249 bucks. So really, really inexpensive. So let's take a look at what Infinix is offering. Now, when you pick up the Note 11 Pro, you get a pretty standard size box, but if you take a quick look in the back, you'll see a bunch of the specs listed out, as well as some of the features you'll find on the phone. And when you pop open the box, you'll immediately be greeted by the phone itself. And my immediate first impression is that this thing has a huge display. It's a 6.9 inch full HD plus display, but we'll talk about that more in a second. A bundle that, you'll find some paperwork, a case, but I wasn't trying to see all that. I saw something that looked like a dollar, so I wanted to see what that was all about, but of course, it was some promotional paperwork for the X Club app. But taking a step back, we do get this clear silicone case, which I am still mind blown about that the inexpensive phones tend to come with these nice cases that I think pretty much anybody would appreciate with a standard phone purchase. Under that, you'll get some more paperwork, but something else that was really surprising was the fact that this thing came with a screen protector, and not even just any regular screen protector, a tempered glass screen protector so you can protect the phone right off the bat with a case. Honestly, that's the kind of stuff you run to Amazon for right after you purchase the phone, but it's all included here, which is insane to me. And of course, you get other things like the USB-C to USB-A charging cable, and you also get the charging brick, which is a 33 watt charger so that you'll get fast charging speeds with your device. But back to the Note 11 Pro, once you unwrap this thing, you can see just how large the display actually is. It's a pretty solid phone in the hand. Doesn't have any metals around it, but it definitely doesn't feel super cheap. It's got this textured back that gives it a pretty unique feel, but let's take a closer look at the phone together. All right, guys, so here it is. This is the Infinix Note 11 Pro. So this is a phone that basically they're trying to throw pretty high-end specs and features on a device that costs just a little bit more than 200 bucks. So from a consumer standpoint, I like what they're trying to do here. So let's just take a quick look at the device, right? So the one we've got right here is the mithril gray. There's the haze green and mist blue options as well. It's got like this textured back. You can see the light is pretty reflective on it, but taking a look at the rest of the device, we of course have USB type C, a headphone jack. Why aren't those on flagships? Uh, so we, they got the headphone jack over here. The power button actually has a fingerprint scanner built into it. Got the volume controls also on the right side. And on the left side, we've got the SIM tray that can take up to two SIM cards, as well as a micro SD card. I feel like this is gonna be a video where I just keep saying, why don't they have that on flagships anymore? Why don't they have that on flagships anymore? It's kind of crazy. Anyway, in the center of the phone, we have the hole punch. So we've got a hole punch for the front facing camera. So we've got that full display. I believe it's like a 91 percent screen to body ratio. And back here, we've got the cameras. This is actually a 64 megapixel camera. I believe they call it their 64 megapixel AI triple ultra night camera. There's a lot riding on this, <laughs> this, this camera right here. So we're gonna take some photos. We're gonna test it out, see how it does. Uh, and there's also a depth sensor camera. I believe this is a two megapixel camera. And we've also got a 13 megapixel lens over here that can do up to a 30 times digital zoom, and of course your flash. Oh, and the front facing camera is actually 16 megapixels. So we've got a lot going on over here. Not to mention this thing has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which is way up there. So that's good to see. And I believe it's running on the Helios G96 processor. So if you've got a previous model of this phone, the G96 is supposed to provide a smoother experience for its users. And this Note 11 Pro is one of the first to incorporate this chipset. The G96 is the latest module of the Helio G series, and Infinix is one of the first to use it. They say that should be good for gaming. They've got some gaming features in here. We'll do some gaming runs, uh, see how it goes. But one other spec that's also called cool, speaking about gaming is that this thing is actually running a 120 hertz refresh rate for the screen. So that's flagship level stuff. I feel like on paper, this thing's got quite a bit going for it. Wait, so you forgot about the storage. 
Storage, guys, 128 gigs of storage on this. Dang. Right? That's, that's impressive. I feel like this phone is definitely trying to bring a lot of like what we expect to see on flagships down to a very affordable price. And it seems like their big mission is to change what the entry level phone is supposed to bring to the table. This is actually a really good starting point. But let's do a couple things. Let's, let's take a few photos, maybe run a couple games, see how it does. So we've got that 16 megapixel front facing camera. I'm gonna take a selfie real quick. Don't break it. I'm gonna take a selfie real quick. Let's see how it does. Mm. Oh, nice. You can use the fingerprint sensor as a shutter. I like that. There's a flash in the front? Wait a second. I've literally never seen this before on any phone. That's cool, you guys. So this is a 16 megapixel front facing camera. I think this is, I think that's pretty solid actually. All right, let me get a picture of Carl. Okay, the highlights are a little, a little crazy on this one, but for the most part, we've been getting some pretty good shots. It's actually really impressive. Now, there's supposed to be like a 30 times digital zoom. Now, I don't care how good any camera is, 30 times digital zoom, digital? That's a lot, that's a lot to ask for. Uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah, it even gives you the little so the box so you can see exactly where you're pointing. And not bad. That's I 30? that's 30 times. Oh. Not bad. I would never use 30 times for like anything, uh, but it's it's cool that it's there. I'm not mad at it. All right, now forget the camera. Let's actually talk about just navigating the phone. So we are running at 120 hertz, so it should be like a really smooth experience. As you scroll down the icons, you guys can just see nice and clean looking. Oh, I like the animation here too. So this is their XOS. That's the name of their operating system. It does run Android 11, so the latest Android. And it's actually pretty smooth. So let's, let's jump into a game and see how smooth it really is. Cause you guys know, we got those high frame rates. We're gonna wanna see how it is gaming wise. All right, so we've got some injustice going here. It looks like this definitely looks smoother than your standard screen. Now this thing does have game modes, so it'll optimize your gaming experience. You can do things like shut off notifications so that you're not interrupted while gaming, you can stop calls, all that good stuff. And from what my eyes can tell, it looks like this thing is definitely running at like a higher frame rate than the standard 60 that we see on a lot of phones. So uh, I can't be mad at that. And this phone is supposed to have like this optimizing feature for gaming called the Darlink 2.0 Ultimate Game Booster. And Infinix basically combines the G96 processor with its own software to boost the gaming experience. And basically this thing is using AI to improve image stability, touch sensitivity. I believe this phone also has a 108 Hertz touch sampling rate. So it inputs touches even faster than the 120 Hertz, uh, which is insane. <laughs> but it also is supposed to do all of that while reducing the temperature. So how did they reach this price point? I'm not too sure. Cause it really feels like they're throwing just like a lot into this phone. All right, so last thing, let's, let's throw on a video, right? YouTube, oh, a your average consumer video. Why not? So this thing sounds like it has some pretty solid speakers. I love the way our video looks on this, Jay. Yeah, it looks pretty clean, huh? But all right guys, this was our look at the Infinix Note 11 Pro. A very, very surprising phone to me. I'm really curious about what other smartphones exist out there that have these kind of specs. You know, we're used to hearing about all the mainstream flagship devices that have all the crazy specs, but it feels like the entry level to mid range smartphones have way more options out there than I ever thought possible. So huge shout out to Infinix for like letting us know that this is a thing. And if this is like your first time hearing about the Infinix brand, they're basically competing with Samsung and Redmi in emerging markets and they've been doing pretty well. So they're definitely competing with the best of them to deliver a compelling offer at this price point. And you guys can see it for yourself. This thing is checking off a lot of the boxes, even though this is at the entry level. But if you guys are interested in me covering maybe more smartphones within like the entry level price range like that, this is 200 bucks, it's insane. Let me know with a comment down below. Should, should we be talking more about this stuff? I wanna know what you guys think. But that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace. It's not bad.